So seemingly out of nowhere, there were a couple of fantastic news stories this week about a potential vaccine for Alzheimer's. In fact, two separate vaccines and the positive results from one in the, in the clinical trial and another one that is going to start human trials soon. So first, before I get to these two vaccines, I first want to share the data here around Alzheimer's and how serious this disease is and how many people it affects. So this data here from Alzheimer's Association and Health Central. One out of 10 people over 65 have Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's is the sixth leading cause of death in the US, and I'll get to worldwide numbers in a second here. 5.8 million Americans live with the disease. You could have the disease for 20 years before symptoms appear, and two out of three Alzheimer's patients are women. Currently, more than 55 million people live with dementia worldwide, and there are nearly 10 million new cases every year. Dementia results from a variety of diseases and injuries that primarily or secondarily affect the brain. Alzheimer's disease is the most common form of dementia and may contribute to 60 to 70% of cases. So we're looking at 60 to 70% of cases of the 55 million people worldwide that live with dementia. It's just an astronomical number. And many people, I'm sure many of you watching this have been impacted by Alzheimer's in some way. I have a, a grandparent who was impacted and, and died from Alzheimer's. So this is clearly one of the leading diseases here that need to be addressed. And thankfully, there are at least two vaccines that look promising so far. So this first one here, this from Global News, nasal vaccine to treat Alzheimer's disease to be tested in the U.S. clinical trial. So there, this is going to be tested in Boston. More here, the study to be conducted at Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston began recruiting participants this week and is the first human trial of a nasal vaccine for the disease. So this particular vaccine uses an immune modulator called protolin. Now, protolin is made up of proteins derived from bacteria and has been used safely in humans. It is designed to activate white blood cells found in the lymph nodes on the sides of the back and neck to migrate to the brain and trigger clearance of beta amyloid plaques, which the hospital noted is one of the hallmarks of Alzheimer's disease. Now, so this one, as I showed you, starting in, in humans, uh, a human trial starting soon, and then they're going to move on to a second phase with even more uh, people involved in that one. But there's also another news of another vaccine this same week that uh, was actually tested in mice. So this from The Telegraph, Alzheimer's vaccine step closer after new treatment reverses memory loss. Scientists hail successful trial on mice in which vaccine trains immune system to fight sticky amyloid protein that accumulates in the brain. So both of these vaccines address the amyloid protein build up in the brain, but this is uh, this one works a little differently. So this vaccine trains the immune system to fight a type of sticky amyloid beta protein in the brain that accumulates in people with dementia, preventing communication between neurons. Previous drugs to fight Alzheimer's have also concentrated on reducing amyloid, but have shown little success in reducing symptoms, with some even triggering negative side effects. When injected into mice, the vaccine triggered antibodies and helped to restore neuron function increase glucose metabolism in the brain, reverse memory loss, and reduce amyloid beta plaque formation. Professor Carr added, while the science is currently still at an early stage, if these results were to be replicated in human clinical trials, then it could be transformative. Quote, it opens up the possibility to not only treat Alzheimer's once symptoms are detected, but also to potentially vaccinate against the disease before symptoms appear. So both of these vaccines do this. They not only treat people that have Alzheimer's, but also potentially prevent Alzheimer's from even forming in the brain. So after decades of research, you know, there are these breakthroughs every now and then you hear with, with Alzheimer's, but this really seems to be finally moving in a direction where we may be seeing the light at the end of the tunnel here with these two different vaccines, one already successful in mice. Now they're going to move on to humans, one already starting human clinical trials. So hopefully these work out. And at some point, it would be great to live in a world where Alzheimer's is completely preventable.